weight or easy as gaining weight or whatever the case may be. It's really hard to live in such a public kind of like eye, live in the public eye and also feel like you're not really happy with the way that you look. And that kind of runs deep. Macy Gay. Macy Gay. What up? I knew y'all was cooking up that fire, boy. What? Boy! Y'all started in the grill today? What's up, Neezy Gang? Okay, so today, we about to be cooking. We gonna be chefing, and y'all know I don't cook like that. Y'all know I don't cook like that. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, fucking clean my grill. Why is my grill dirty? This is my grill. My grill. I'm supposed to be the first one dirty in this, and I lift it up and it's dirty as hell. This is from the house woman, it had to be. Anyway, regardless, we gonna be chefing it up today, and I'm gonna make you a Chef Boy RE meal special, and we gonna see how it turns out. We got the chicken. Nice. And then we got the seasoning coming on in right there. There it is, it's delivered on the platter, and we are <laughs> delivered. Don't throw that at me. No, I'm doing the most? Yes, you're doing the most. It's cayenne on here. It's oh, sheesh. Wow, we about to have a whole nice cooking day. Look at you in your flowy dress from Thailand. I'm trying to just look like, you know what I'm saying? Like the woman of the house. The woman know? of the house? Okay. Yeah, don't show my shoes. Don't show my shoes. <laughs> what are those? Stay up here. Up here, we're yeah. up here. We're up here with it. So baby, you gonna clean this grill? Yeah. Cause somebody got my grill dirty. The man of the house has to do that. All right, since you say it like that, you already know I'm about to go down. <laughs> you are a woman. Clean that damn. Girl, goodbye. Look at the seasoning, guys. Okay. It's real cute. Ooh, baby, did you make it cute like that on purpose? Yes. Ooh, just like you. Okay, so what we got here? We have onion powder, we have paprika, we have cayenne, we mm -hmm. have Italian seasoning, we got the good old fashioned seasoned salt. Yeah. We got some, some brown stuff. sugar for caramelizing. Uh huh. Yes, some stuff, y'all. Yeah. We got some yams. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we gotta cut the chicken. I just clean the grill. You know what I'm saying? You want like this or like this? Probably like this so it's longer, huh? No, this cut way. it in half. You sit long with like, like, don't make it a stick. You know what oh, I'm saying? Like make this. it thinner, yeah. Oh, okay. She said she wanted it thin. I like them thick, nah, nah. I like them thick, I need some. It just more. goes further if it's like thinner too. Yeah, you right, you right, okay. Yeah, I need girl. A, um, ooh. Bugging, bugging. I need a longer knife, nah. You didn't give the chef the proper utensils? Girl, Come look, on, man. I ain't just a sous chef. She you... trying to act like I'm a sous chef, y'all. Come on, now. I was trying to help you prepare. Look at this, look at this, it's all the fat. Yeah, you gotta get the fat off too, cause we don't want that. Well, at least I don't want that. You don't want the fat? No. Oh, wow, nice, okay. So we got the boys uh, here. They're the sous chefs. Keeping us company. Yes. They can taste test. Taste test. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna cut up all the meat and cut it in half. Um, I definitely need a better knife, cause this ain't it. Go get a better knife. No, I brought all this out for you already. <laughs> So I'm gonna stick with this knife. Okay, so as you guys can see, I cut up the chicken. I got my seasoning right here. So I'm gonna put it back in the bowl. Oil. And my oil, and my oil. But I wanted to tell you the reason why we were actually doing this. Um, first and foremost, just like it's hard to find a consistent braider, it's hard to find a consistent meal prep person. You know what I'm saying? And you know, the life that we're living, we're trying to be on this healthy grind. has been for a while. Why are you slapping it in there like that? Oh, you know, I gotta smack it. Smack my meat. Oh my you know what I'm God. Saying? But I wanted to say. <laughs> I thought that you were gonna say be my meat. <laughs> You know, it's hard to find a consistent meal prep person and it's hard for us to cook all the time, you know, cause I, I'm always cooking in the kitchen. And it's- Girl, just... wait, don't be lying. The real th reason is I'm always cooking in the kitchen and I don't got time to cook all the time. So we were like, you know what? Let's meal prep this week. Maybe by next week, we might have somebody who can consistently meal prep for us. Exactly. So we don't have to, but no yeah. excuses anymore. Like we no can excuses. set this aside a few hours and prep our meals for the week. Exactly, that's what we're doing right now. So I'm making some chicken. Um, it might be a little bit hard to mix it in that bowl because yeah, it's I a little- Yeah, I need a bigger bowl, so yeah. Go get it. 
Okay, so I got a bigger bowl. We got all of our seasons, put them in there. But like I was saying, guys, you know, it's really a struggle for us. Find that consistent, consistent, consistent person. You know what I'm saying? To cook for us. And like, I feel like with weight loss, y'all know we've been trying for such a long time, y'all. Such a long time. And it's just like our main struggle, at least for me, is the eating part. And I'm not a, um, you know, nutritionist or whatever. Uh, when it comes to losing weight, it's 90% food. And then the 10% is working out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but either way, it's just such a struggle for us. And we're out here trying to cook our own meals, at least for this week, so we can just, just really show the results, you know? Because I've been working out consistently for three months, and I feel like I haven't been getting the results that I want because I can't consistently eat healthy. You know what I'm saying? It's struggling. My metabolism is so freaking off. It's just like, dang, man, like... This is tough, you know what I'm saying, That This is super tough. Mm -hmm. um, right now, this is caramelized, spicy lemon chicken. There's no lemon in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not through the seasons, I'm mixing it and cooking it. Mm -hmm. What kind of, okay, so wait, what are all the seasonings again? So I know what I'm tasting? So it's gonna be some um, paprika, cayenne, there's like yeah. some oregano and Italian seasonings. Yeah. We got seasoning salt, mm -hmm. garlic, onion powder. If you guys feel like you can't do it either, you just gotta get in the kitchen and cook for yourself and, that, and that's when you'll really see the results. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to eating. I've been struggling for a while with my weight and it's just such a struggle to see even more because I've been working out a lot and then not seeing results. So it's like, dang, this is discouraging, but don't give up. You know, don't give up. y'all so i've never grilled in my life ever <laughs> so i hope i'm doing this right i'm trying to put extra oil so these things don't burn you know what i'm saying it looked like i'm doing what i'm what it's supposed to do right i think so i never did this either okay so now that we're inside you can see what i've been preparing in here while she was working outside we have salmon kebabs in the works all right we got onions pepper salmon chunks and then some tomatoes they're a little wilted but they'll do the trick okay and then we got the sticks of course we still have to do the seasoning and stuff so come with me i think the way that i want to season the kebabs is a little mediterranean style Ooh. so go ahead, go ahead. what i need is a lemon off of our tree Ooh, lemon off the tree yeah you know we don't really have to buy lemons like that because our cute little tree out here grows them. I mean, it's only like, a, it's a struggle tree right now because it's not, uh -huh. they're not a season. There's only two. Well, There's one, two. I don't even know if this is ready. It's is super it? hard. Hasn't this been like this since, since we moved we, in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this one just came. Okay. So maybe that flex that you thought you were going to have? This is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. All right. Never mind. So let's improvise. Uh, let's improvise. I think we're just going to use some lemon from the refrigerator. Okay. Yeah, so no lemon. I don't have any lemon in the fridge, so we're just gonna have to use lemon powder, yeah. lemon and pepper seasoning. Yeah. Okay. To replace, to get that little tanginess. But yeah, so, you know, Easy and I have been talking about it a lot and stuff, and it, it's hard, you know? It's really hard to live in such a, I would say, ah, like public kind of like I live in the public eye and also feel like you're not really happy with the way that you look. And that kind of runs deep, you know what I'm saying? First and foremost, the reason that I feel like it's hard is not only do we get like judgment from not everybody watching, but some of you guys, you guys will say, oh, Natalie's gaining weight or Easy's gaining weight or whatever the case may be. And it's already tough when you're behind the scenes, you already know what's going on. You know if you're gaining weight, whatever the case may be. And that's just like kind of like a part of life, I would say. It's extra hard whenever, you know, you're a content creator and in this world of entertainment, we are told we gotta be a certain size. You know what I'm saying? We gotta look a certain way. And it's not even if you're just a content creator you're told these things because honestly I'm sure a lot of you guys at home also struggle with your you know body image and or whatever like do I look like how people look on TV the people that um, are my you know what I'm saying like my inspiration do I look enough like them and that is tough so we want to really start kind of breaking that cycle and start thinking differently Ooh. 
Yes, looking good. Super good, my oh, love. So colorful. Super colorful. They look delicioso. Okay. Okay, so you got this now. You oh, you already know. It's time to throw them on the grill. How's it looking? My chicken look good. My chicken look nice. Look at my chicken, y'all. Yeah, I did that. Ooh. I did that. You know what I'm saying? It's about time to flip them things too. You know what I'm saying? I've already flipped them like once. Once. Twice actually. Twice. You okay. know what I'm saying? I want okay. my shit tender though. Yeah. So not you don't too, want it to get too dry. You know, not, not too, too dry. dry. Not, not too dry. dry. Hold this. Hold it. Let me flip them things. You can actually probably put the salmon Ooh, on the, the top. top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Drop it like it's hot. Flip them things. Ooh. 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 Fire. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Chef Boy R.E. in the building. Hey, you know, let me really find good. out. You know, I've been holding back. I've been waiting until we got a house together. That's what it was. Oh, okay. You didn't yeah. want me to see everything, everything in store for me. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. Couldn't have it all. Couldn't have it all. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah, let me throw them um, salmon Kebab. skewers or kebabs mm -hmm. on there. Oh, yeah. Put them things on there. I don't know if this is going to be hot enough for them. We gonna see. We gonna find out. We about to find. I hear them sizzling as you put them on, so it probably is gonna be perfect, actually. Okay, best. Say this. Oh yeah. Wow. You sit up. The chicken. The kebabs, yo. Call me Chef Boy R E. This is my actual chef, cause she seasoned everything and I cook it. So what is that called? That's called teamwork. Oh, this is teamwork makes the dream work. That's what that is. Okay, yeah. teamwork makes you reach your goals. Yeah. Whatever they may be. Yeah. Okay, and I feel like our new goal. Let's let's. What's our new no goal? Like I was saying, I feel like our new goal is just to be healthy. You know, like not setting a super unrealistic goals for ourselves or comparing ourselves to other people. Like I really just want to be the healthiest version of myself. And I think that's what our focus needs to be on feeding yeah. ourselves good, healthy food. And when we decide not to eat something, do it for our body. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Do it for our body. Be like, hey, I know I don't need this right now. I know that this isn't going to help my body to thrive and be healthy yeah. for years to come. You know? Yeah. So, so right yeah. now, what are we doing though? So right now, I'm rinsing the rustic potatoes. That's going to be one of our starches that mm -hmm. we eat. Mmm, yummy. I, I love potatoes, y'all. Love, love me potatoes. some potatoes. Uh, but the cooking's going good. I'm so proud of myself. I've never grilled before, and when I tell y'all, you can see a bite out of this chicken. It's so tender and juicy. I cooked it just right. Damn. Now that you season it good, let's taste these skewers. You ready? Yes, I'm super ready. I love okay. skewers. All right. All right, here we go. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let me get the first bite, baby. That first bite. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this off. So I'm not buying it, baby. Oh. I'm gonna stab myself. Okay, okay. Tell me how it is. It sounds juicy. Mm -hmm. Look at your lips look juicy. Mm. Is it good? Mm. Is it hitting? Mm -hmm. Don't be dramatic. Don't be lying for them. Mm -mm. I'll be the real judge. Yeah. Nice and delicious and healthy. Girl, I need that salmon too. We should open up our own kitchen. This is good. What? Oh yeah, it's a wrap, y'all. I know I cook now. Ooh, the carrots, the potatoes, and rice, the beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, and kebab. Sheesh. We did it, Nat. We did it, Joe. We did it, babe. We did it. It took us three hours. Never again. <laughs> what do you mean, never, never again. again? No. Our whole conversation with the Neezy gang was to show them, like, do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to No order. excuses. If we don't have a meal prepper, we gonna prep our food ourselves. Abort mission, y'all. This we shit took too long. We used to do this every Sunday and back I in 2017. Mm, wow. No, never again. Never again. But it did come out delicious. Everything is delicious. Hopefully, you know. We stick to it, and I'm convinced we are. I'm excited to eat. We're going to get a little plate. But, Nisi Gang, thank you for sticking around with us. Y'all didn't even get to have to. Y'all don't Y'all don't have to go through these hourless freaking times. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Hourless. I mean, what's that? see how tired I am? What's hourless. What you talking about, y'all? 
You didn't have to actually see everything. Right. You just saw it started and done. Yeah. I sat in here slave over to the sides, y'all. Mm-hmm. I slave for the meat. My baby slave for the meat. And scrub that down. They already know pumpkin. I love you guys. I just wanted them to know because I didn't they didn't see me make this stuff. Oh yeah, I feel you. You look beautiful, baby. Tell them we out. You're not gonna let them see us eat. They get the point. We gonna eat. <laughs> With your tall ass. Don't y'all want to see right us now. enjoy our food that we just cooked? She grabbed my booty like she don't. She the boy in. <laughs> She's so tall right now. When she, whenever she got shoes on, she's an inch taller. But uh, all right, easy game. We love you guys. <laughs> we are out. Gang, gang. Subscribe.